look at Ronaldo, Messi, Ibrahimovic, Lewandowski, all these players who kind of hit 30 and kind of took another level. Yeah. It tells me that there's a lot more that I can improve on, a lot more that I can achieve. And that's an exciting mindset to have. Throw a number at you now. You might know it because I know you're mad about this sport. It's uh, NFL 199. Does that mean anything to you? Tom Brady's draft pick. Hey, yes. Yeah. Kind of the way his career started, kind of being doubted and people not really expecting much from him was similar to kind of how my career started and he kind of kept his head down, he worked harder than anyone else, he had self-belief and had a real determination and drive to, to make it to the very top and that's what he's done, he's the greatest to ever play his sport so uh, that's my aim, that's always been my goal is to improve and work hard and coming into that age of 28, like I say I want to see the little edges, the little 1% I can get physically and that sport allows me to have that opportunity to see kind of where I am, where I need to recover more, when I need to do a bit more in the gym and, and everything. All those years you've worked on your game, behind the scenes, in the quiet, you know, people aren't watching you in those moments, they just see you on the pitch. Like, how analytical have you been? How much have you looked at data and what you needed to do? Yeah, 100%. I think data's been a huge part of kind of my development. Definitely kind of when I got to that kind of 20 years old, I was at a stage in my career where a couple of loans didn't go quite so well and it was kind of where am I going to go from here? And, to be fair, Maurizio Pochettino coming at Spurs and we've done a lot of gym work, we've done a lot of work on the pitch, a lot of high speed running stuff and just kind of how I can kind of take my game to the next level because technically I was always there, I was always able to score goals. But obviously if you want to be playing Premier League football, Champions League, international football, you need to be able to physically handle the workloads, handle defenders and things like that. So um, yeah, I felt like my body took a real transition in that moment and, and that obviously took me onto another level and then obviously from there I kind of just carried on improving and I feel like I'm still improving now and still got a lot more to give. You know, it reminded me of when you were in Tottenham under 16s, you know, Ronaldo was getting 42 goals and, and he did that and Messi was also coming up at Barcelona. You look at those players and, and the way they work as well and, and think that, you know, you're seeing them transform, you're watching them on TV. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Ronaldo and Messi definitely kind of set the standards, uh, I think not just on the pitch, but I think being a professional off the pitch as well, you know, you see the way they keep their body in good shape, the way they, like I said, perform week in, week out. And obviously I knew that was something that I wanted to achieve and, and the numbers they were putting up, the goals, the assists, at stages where I've been reaching those numbers, but obviously I'd like to do that on a more consistent basis. So I think you'd be silly not to look at players like that and try and learn and improve from that because that's only going to help me as a player and, and develop as a, as a footballer. Do you remember what your original FIFA rating was and what your rating is now? So I know my rating now is 90. Yep. Uh, I think it's the first time I've been 90, so that's pretty nice. Coming off the back of obviously last season and the Euros, it's nice to get that recognition. My first ever FIFA card, Yeah. I was, I'm going to say 50. 58, yeah. Getting close to double the player you were when you are at Orient. I'm not sure how they work these things out. But to be fair, I probably am double the player than what I was at yeah. Orient. Obviously that was, what, 11 years ago now, so I feel like I've come a long way since then, so. Do you look at the stats or do you get told the stats in areas of the pitch you're supposed to finish in? Especially over the last few years, there's definitely kind of more or less come out about kind of where the most goals are scored. But I'm a striker kind of on instinct. I like to kind of just feel the game, feel where I think the ball is going to be, uh, feel where it's going to drop in the box and rebounds and things like that. So I hear a lot about natural goal scorers and natural finishers. Uh, and I feel like that's kind of what they had. They had both parts of, of that to their game. Obviously, before people spoke about your prime being kind of kind of mid-20s to late 20s. I feel like people's prime now is kind of early 30s, kind of pushing on uh, to mid-30s. You look at kind of Ronaldo, Messi, Ibrahimovic, Lewandowski, all these players who kind of hit 30 and kind of took another level yeah. in their career. That's definitely something I look at and, and get excited about, yeah. really. It, it tells me that there's a lot more that I can improve on, a lot more that I can achieve. And that's the goal. I want to be playing football as long as possible. It's, it's a sport that I love. It's a sport that I enjoy doing every, every, every day of my life. So. The longer I can do it, the better.